Today we're going to be watching an Us Watching Us, which is us watching us from us 11 years ago now? Mm. 2000, but this is going into 2000, no, it's 12 years ago. So we made videos back in the day when we traveled around the world. This is going to be picking up from the Singapore adventure that we had. And uh, some cool stuff happened, and it was also the new year. So it starts in 2009 and it will end in 2010. Mm -hmm. So that's like 12 years ago. Almost 13 years ago. And um, that gets, I think, everybody caught up to speed, if you don't know what that is. And if you don't know where Singapore is, which is... Uh, you know, it's the thing some people might not have a really good... And I just good, found out about Iran. You just found out about <laughs> <laughs> Iran. Iran. You said Iran. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think I said Iran. We'll go back up and check. Yeah, we'll go back it up and check. <laughs> okay, so what we can do is we can throw this thing up there and that brings us to a map of the world. And this needs to come over here like this, I think. Do I need to move? Mm, you might be okay. That's fine. Uh, the YouTube video would be YouTube. Wait, what? What? T U T W. Us watching us. Mm -hmm. T W. Us watching. I don't know. What YouTube. YouTube. Watching Twitch. Watching us. Watching us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, this is a map of the world, and we started, of course, in the United States. We went down to Costa Rica. We spent a bit of time there. Then we bounced up to the United States, through Alaska, and we went to Taiwan, and then we landed in Thailand. This is where our adventure really began. Well, Costa Rica kind of was where the adventure began. Um, so, we did a bunch of Thailand. We went north. We went over here. We went blah, 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 and we came all the way down through Malaysia, and kind of stayed on this coast, um, hit an island here, went into the mountains a bit, and then spent some time in Kuala Lumpur, and that's where we left off with the last episode. And the um, last episode would have been during Christmas time, so we saw some Christmas in Kuala Lumpur stuff that was pretty cool. Ooh, have you been whammed yet? Whammed? Whammed. Last Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Because we're, we're no, almost... Christmas music has started playing here. So um, every time I hear Christmas music, I listen for the wham. And can then I, when it's not a can wham... I just, can I, I wham you with a song right now? Can I just sing it? No, I think it needs to be outside of your house. Outside? Oh. Yeah, I think you need to be assaulted in public. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Mm. Uh, and then Singapore is this little island nation that is down here just off the coast of Malaysia. So we ended up spending the new year here in Singapore. And uh, that's where we're going to be picking up with our videos here today. And I think I'm ready to jump into one, but I need headphones. I think you might be sitting on my headphones. It's going to be warm. Yeah, they're going to be warm. So you watch the latest video. Oh, man. Elden, hey, thank you. Glad you enjoy our videos. I have to burp. You have to burp? Yeah. Well, gonna have to hold that in, baby. I don't like doing that. I know you don't. Yeah. Do you want me to mute the mic so you can burp? No, I think it went away. <laughs> I know how to get out. <laughs> That's why it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me find the video and we'll get it going. It's in here and here and here and Has in anybody here. in the chat been whammed? Need to get an update on Christmas. And if I can just get an audio check on if you guys can hear this, that would be cool. You ready? Yeah, yeah, I already heard it. Shampooed it. So in Thailand specifically, but um, also in Malaysia, when you get a baked good, you go to a bakery, you end up getting um, a bread that looks amazing. It's like oh. the best bread in the world. And then they'll add... We had a phrase for this. We had a phrase for like finding meat and, meat bread, and bread or just yeah, something, I and I don't remember what it was. I was trying to remember what it was, um, but yeah, we had a phrase for that. 
bacon to it or they'll add like chicken liver or some bizarre type of meat. So we've kind of given up on pastries for the most part, unless they come out of a 7-Eleven. And even that's sketchy sometimes. But this time I found this uh, bakery and they had a big sign up that said vegetarian. So I can only assume that this amazing looking raisin bun with sugar all over it is not going to have part of a cow testicle in it. But assumption around here can be dangerous business. So we'll find out. Look at this oh. building. It's got little panels on it and they all light up. I'm gonna zoom in, let you, there we go. It's really, really cool. Gives it a very cool effect overall. So it's not that, like, this is what struck me when we first went there. It's not that Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia are necessarily like unclean, but when you go to Singapore, the level of infrastructure and like tidiness is off the charts. I think it's possible it's cleaner than Japan, just generally speaking. Mm -hmm. that, that's how I, I just remember the incredible level. And I, I think when we first got there, we took a bus there like we had, had shown. And I just remember getting there being like, okay, yeah, like what I heard about this place feels pretty accurate. Like it's really off the charts clean. Mm -hmm. I was really into this building. Whoa. Not to infer that clean equals better. That's mm. not what I mean. It's just a descriptor. Singapore is pretty insane. It really is this like bizarre utopia that everybody uh, goes on about. Um, everything is really, really orderly and efficient and the transportation system is incredible and the road system is incredible and it's just, it's strange, but this is also something that's kind of unique. I know I've seen this type of thing in the States, but this is everywhere. Every parking location tells you in real time how many spaces are opened, which is, uh, that's pretty dang efficient. We are at the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. And at this hotel, they have claimed that they are the home of the Singapore Sling. Let's pause that. Two things. I'll say them. First off, I didn't know what a Singapore sling was before this night. So this wasn't that interesting to me, like, to be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. And second off, the price ruined my day. This is probably one of the most expensive edibles Things. I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, it was. And I don't even remember how much it was. I want to, I might, okay, oh, I don't know for sure. I think they were $25 a piece. Um, that's, that's what I remember. I think we didn't get to find out the price until we sat down. Correct. Or so after we, we ordered them or something. I don't know. So we just felt, mm, we're stuck. Yeah. It was dumb. Yeah. Two of them. And they're not both for me. <laughs> this is also a point in time where I didn't really drink alcohol. Mm. So that's, what, that's why you're saying that. Yep. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I has one for my buddy. Thank you. Just a pile of peanuts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did they just drop a pile of peanuts on the table? <laughs> is that what that is? So this hotel is like an old Western hotel. It's got a lot of history to it and stuff. It's kind of a cool building. Some sort of peanut culture. Peanuts as well. And that, eyebrows are going up on that price. Got so we didn't find out about the price until after they were delivered. Let's just see what that is. You're not gonna tell us? We'll keep that to ourselves. Oh, okay. And uh, Eric would like you to know that in 1902, they killed the last uh, Singaporean tiger in the basement of this place. Ah, fame. <laughs> Pause it. I'm trying to know. Why do we hide it from ourselves? I don't know. <laughs> I'd say it was over $25 each then. No, I think, it, I think it was like, to us at that time, $25 each was a lot. Because I mean, when we were doing math in our heads, we were like, how many nights in Thailand is this? And like, oh, if yeah. I saw, you know what I mean? If we saw that, I'm like, okay, it's like usually like $8 a night for our room for two people or something. And I was like, oh, we just spent $50. That's like two weeks or whatever of time in Thailand. Like, that's, a, that's how my brain was calculating things. You don't know how to math. I don't have math, baby. Or eat. Those things are expensive. Mm. 
Um, Tiger didn't make it. So we've gotten we've we've moved on from one one kernel to several kernels. You just now. do one. Yeah. Mm. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the the time zone that is more efficient for watching this specific activity. Mm. <laughs> yeah. True. This is a place that we were actually pretty excited about going to. Because mm-hmm. Anthony Bourdain had filmed there. And it just looked dope. So I we kind of we followed his lead. The best chicken race in the world, according to some TV shows we've seen. This Hold on. <laughs> according to no reservations. reservations. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we watched that episode on the airplane on our way to Thailand. And I also think that... Uh, we say that we, we said that all the time <laughs> to each other like yeah, doing this no yeah. reservations and all these signs and this huge line we've been standing in for 35 minutes five dollars fifty cent yeah but that's singaporean mm, good point Look at that. Yeah, so the background is that, like, I had just organically discovered this when we were in Thailand, this dish. I didn't know it was a Singapore, like, I don't know where it's actually from, but it's famous in Singapore. I didn't realize it was a Singapore speciality. And uh, even though we had seen the episodes before we went there, it's like it didn't line up in my head. What I was eating was a thing I'd seen in the show Mm. or something. I don't know. Maybe we saw the episodes in a different order or something. But I do remember eating it not really... I was like, oh, this is something I just found. Like, can you just find, like, this cold chicken and cold rice, like, hanging in this, like, cart? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? <laughs> so, anyway, I'd been eating it a whole lot. I'd fallen in love with the dish, and here I was happy to be getting... Are you still in love with the dish? Uh, it's hard to get it here where I like it a lot. Mm. Um, but when I can have it and it's good, yeah, I do really like it. It's good. How's your chicken and rice? Very good. Um... There's chicken and rice. And then they gave us some chili sauce. And it was really, really hot. And then we put this molasses stuff in it. Hold on. <laughs> this is great cinematography. I still make shots like that. <laughs> well, well, I mean, like showing the stringiness. This guy's doing good work. You know how to have been heavy. <laughs> but dude, Taco, if you go into Thailand or Malaysian stuff, they don't chopsticks aren't like the main game. <clears throat> That's like a China thing, a northern Asia thing. <laughs> hey, watch me live and stuff, what's going on? Um, yeah, that's funny because that, that we've been we've been saying that for months at this point. Yeah, it was, yeah, we started doing that in October, and this yeah. would be late December. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's two months of us doing it probably every daily. day. Yeah, at least yeah. you. <laughs> I gotta back up. <laughs> Sometimes I'm shy. No, 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 Get him up. Get him up. Come on. Get, get him up there. A little high. Just real quick. Nobody's even looking. <laughs> I missed the tail. No. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Seems like a smart move. <laughs> Otter seems slightly distressed. <laughs> a rhino, a zebra, and a pony in a cage together. Apparently, you get this. <laughs> this is a tapir, and it is a cousin, so the zoo says, of the horse, the zebra, and the rhino. How's that possible? You can't really see his schnoz. It'll come. Oh, there we go. He's got a mildly penis schnoz. My mom said that it looks like a body with a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Come a llama down. 
<laughs> Come on. What's that from? Is it from? Is it from the mighty bush? It could be. Come a llama down. Oh man. Oh, this guy. So I depressing. talk about him all the time. Mm. I think about this polar bear like twice a week. <laughs> He's on the equator. That's one of the one of the poles, right? <laughs> <laughs> north of the equator oh we just we just did schadenfreude <laughs> pause <laughs> we mm -hmm. just did schadenfreude we laughed at his misery <laughs> oh <laughs> oh one stop uh oh he knows he's we've drilling. spotted him he's drooling oh god <laughs> oh no Definitely taking a break on the chewing. Oh, oh, oh he's oh, back, wait. but the other one stopped. Dead, dead. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> well, that one stopped. What? Cheers. Are they messing with us? <laughs> right, there we go. This makes me want to watch Fern Gully real, real bad. And maybe just like the part where the bat sings and nothing else. Yeah, that's the that's thing you should do. That's creepy. Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh, well. That's cool. Dude, he didn't wait to not drip. <laughs> I left that in because I actually thought it was interesting that he turns over to like make mm. his business. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, oh, I gotta do some adjustments so I don't whiz on my face. I know it's that pretty I'm, smart. I'm about to have a culinary happiness. And I know that it's at like a real touristy place and someday I will have even better laksa and I look forward to it. I think you should go back and try it again. I wonder if it's not that good. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling yeah. it's not that good. But it's like the first time you had it, I think. Yeah, it was the first time I was like, so this is a flavor that exists? Yeah. Hmm. Um, we are having what's called laksa. And, um, Laksi maybe? Laksa? Laksa. That's what laksa. I thought. Okay. L-A-K-S-A. Okay. And come on down. It's a coconut-based uh, soup. It has God noodles. Damn. It looks good. Bean sprouts, which I can't get a bean sprout. It has this drowned egg thing that tastes weird but tastes good at the same time. Is it tofu? It's tofu. And then it's got a boiled egg on top of that. And it's absolutely delicious. Shrimp. Oh, there was shrimp. I, I ate them. And they were, they were incredible. That's a good shrimp. Katie has a giant lemon iced tea. Yep. And I have a skinny, tiny, oh, it looks huge in the video though. You're a super friend? Hot coffee. And I know it sounds crazy, but for some reason in this hot climate, hot drinks are really awesome. I know my chopstick game was terrible then. Still is. It's better. Your bag's out there pretty far. It's impressive. We're in Singapore's ice park thing. They made this, uh, this like little sled thing and... It's, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty ghetto in here, I'm sorry. And all the people are like freaking out about how cold it is and it's really not that cold. Okay. I mean, that's a great slide. Mm, it's alright. Got some bumps. It really just feels like we're in the freezer section at the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Singapore do they have Mercedes for taxis. I wonder if that's true. And it's about 9.27, so we've got... I like until this point, you would have never known that it was wintry. Like winter oh, time, yeah, not yeah. wintry. It's obviously not winter, but like December. Mm. Like... There's no, there were no indicators. There didn't even None. seem to be any Christmas and stuff. In well, the there videos. was a polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm trying to tick which season it is. <laughs> Find your polar bears. <laughs> he was hibernating. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let him. <laughs> My motherfucker is working. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't be there. The new year actually starts, and we decided to go up in the Singapore flight. I don't even know what it is. Pause. I just keep calling it the eye because. 
I can see the reflection of the camera, and I have a warm spot for that camera. Mm. Like I, it, it's like a the third part of the journey, like the third person on the journey. Mm. Because that's what they have in London. But regardless, it's a huge uh, Ferris, wheel. Ferris wheel that they stuff a whole bunch. Of Pause it. Is uh. Volkswagen to China, what Mercedes is to Singapore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they are like uh, homage to the Swedes. <laughs> you know Mercedes isn't Swedish, right? But Volkswagen oh, okay. is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know cars. All right, all right, fair Mercedes enough. Mercedes is German. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What about BMW? German. What about Mercedes? <laughs> <laughs> Just name other German ones and I'll look smart. And uh, it swings around. So right now, um, one of the things that they said is see an entire country. So this is Singapore, or at least... That is really... What a, what a catch line. Stop looking like a robot. Oh, pause it. They don't know. They don't know about you and your weird robot thing. <laughs> and I don't even think you can do it anymore. Mm -hmm. He used to do this thing where you like took all the emotion out of your face and it was really fucking creepy. <laughs> like, I think you did it maybe a hundred times over the span of like five years. And it was really creepy to the point that I was like, you got to stop doing that. Like, just point blank. No more of that. So you stop doing it. Yeah. I'll get you again. I'm going to wait really for you to be in like a, a haze where it's kind of dark and you, you would can't. not. I would. You, you and I both know you should not do that. You're going to get hurt. You've gotten violent. Yes. Yeah. I don't I don't get to control it either. So you might want to do this in like broad daylight with me <laughs> real awake. Um, so it was New Year's Eve when we were up doing this and they were doing the special stuff in the bay where they were, was it like lighting things up in the water or something like the, that? What was going like on? There were like little lights in the water that change colors. Yeah, all, like, the, all that yellow. All that yellow is, is lights, is, right? Is, is lights on the water. Yeah. Normally it's not lit up yellow there. Mm. And it could change and stuff. It was pretty cool. I thought we were heard about was that um, some boats will take you through these illuminaries here. Basically, they light up little illuminaries. We can't figure out how they work. They do change color. Using the word illuminary like it's a word. Yeah, and <laughs> even now I'm like, wow, what a choice. <laughs> I'm hoping that while this is videotaping, they'll change color. The boats that will, um, they call them fireworks show boats. They you also said videotaping. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that to myself. Hey, good work, Grandma. It's recording. Whoa. Rudy's got a new vibe. Sounds like a vibe. Yeah, it sounds like a... Either he's having a great time or a terrible time. I think it's a great time. You know how you can find out? He hasn't barfed yet, so that's good. He looks like he might. Yeah. I'll go into the fireworks at Christmas or at the at midnight. They go through the little pond. I don't see any of them doing that now, but these lights are amazing looking. Very, very cool. Okay, so it's 11:30 um, New Year's Eve night. Um, in Singapore. We've been wandering around all this more miserable, miserable traffic of people and um, this is a lot of people out. It's pretty crazy. Um, I have momentarily ditched Katie to make this video. She um, is sitting over. We're getting ready to watch the fireworks display that they should have at uh, 12 o'clock and we think we've got a good seat, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, in about half an hour here, when uh, all that begins, she doesn't know this. And it was complicated to get away from her for a day when you're living together, um, hooked together for four and a half months. But she doesn't know, but I'm going to propose to her. And I don't know if you can see that at all. Can you pause it? I just want a moment to think that this is the same ring that's in that box. Have you ever seen this video? Yeah, yeah. I've seen uh, this video. I don't know if you'd seen me talking about but this before. It's been such a span of time since that moment. It's, it's interesting to feel time through an object. And it's an object that I wear every single day. So 
It's like you don't feel that time. So I had started looking for the ring when we were in um, Kuala Lumpur, like I had discussed last time. Mm-hmm. Why'd you put them over here? So that I'd have less than <laughs> I was having before. And I didn't buy it in Kuala Lumpur. I can't remember why, but then I ended up buying it in Singapore. Like this is the jewelry shop in a mall or something like that. Nothing like fancy or anything, right? Like, <laughs> um, and I think what was nice, one of the things that was nice in Singapore is it was easy to find somebody that spoke English. Mm. I think maybe, maybe I didn't feel, I don't remember, I don't remember what my thought process was in Kuala Lumpur. I just, something about it, I just didn't do it there. But then there were times when, when we were in Singapore, I had to go and do this. It took me like a day or two of like going by myself and like trying to figure all this shit out. So like I had to get away from you, which was awkward. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And... I, at this point, don't realize it, but you kind of already knew this was going to happen, right? Like, I didn't know until shortly before we were on the carousel. Something happened and you went into my bag and I was like, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, like I put my hand into your bag and there has never been any opposition to that ever. Like, never. And then this one particular moment, there was opposition. And for, it probably took me 30 seconds to figure out, oh, oh, <laughs> uh-huh, okay, we're doing that. It was, so you just knew because I wouldn't let you in the bag with the vibe yeah. in the air or something like that? How did you step that out? It doesn't make any sense. I just, I, I knew. Um, and I don't know if I pieced together that you went shopping for it. I feel mm-hmm. like, I don't feel like I did. Other things that happened is I, I, it's hard to tell in this protect perhaps, but my hair has been cut. I went and got a haircut because I didn't want to look like a schlub because my hair looked pretty bad before. You didn't fucking tell me to not look like a schlub. You always look good. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> um, anyway. I think we all know Eric's not the one that be hiding the poor now. <laughs> no. But yeah, finding time to, to go shopping for that and do all the research that's involved and all the really obnoxiousness that comes along with trying to um, deal with jewelers <laughs> is uh, it's complicated to get that much time when uh, you're used to being around a person. She's like, "Where are you? Where are you going? What's going on?" And there's been a little bit of awkwardness due to that, but. Um, Hopefully she'll understand here in half an hour. Um, so we'll we'll see how we'll see how this goes. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> it's a weird feeling, and uh, I'm pretty excited. So we'll uh, I, I'm excited to see how she reacts. You can only imagine positively. If she tells me no, then it's gonna make a real awkward rest of our vacation or whatever. But I'm I'm fairly confident. I think she likes me. What time is it? 11.44. Oh, I'm nervous. You can just tell I'm nervous. Is view? It's very fuzzy in this photo. Are you nervous? Uh, maybe not nervous, just like... Anxious. You anxious. know you have yeah, a surprise anxious, coming. Yeah. How old is this? Uh, we filmed this in 2010. Two, well, right now it's 2009. About to be 2010. But it's about to be 2010. It's New Year's Eve that year. And hopefully the fireworks will be right there up over the cityscape. 2010? 2010. I love fireworks. <laughs> pause, pause. Yeah, I just saw them and I was it's like, I know what I feel like inside. <laughs> a roller coaster for your eyes. So, I got the peach rings just in case I had mm. to convince you. 
Had you pulled those out if I was on the fence? Possibly. <laughs> Would have been like, yeah, okay, okay. You went and got peach rings. Favor. The thing is, is you like peach rings back. I don't think you care about mm. them anymore, but back then you were like peach quite fond of them. Great. Yeah. They're just not available. <laughs> um, uh, other things of note that maybe we didn't express very well, we were just basically standing under a highway. Mm. <laughs> this was not like the most romantic it like, location. It, it was not, <laughs> it was like gritty meets glitter <laughs> yeah I, mean, I remember being a little disappointed that we didn't find something better than that but it's mm. just like i didn't know the area like it was mm. like what are we just going to wander around in these huge crowds like wandering and wandering and wandering you know so. mm, let me ask you a question okay the down on one knee situation yeah, it's not my any, thing any any feel okay i was just wondering what well, are you I, disappointed by that disappointed no i mean like your proposal is what like, your proposal but I didn't know if there was something that made you not want to do that, and I've never asked you before. Mm. So I don't know. I just not. Just I don't. Not I don't. Style. I don't know if I even thought it out. Mm. I just. I also don't think I wanted it to be. There might have also been the. I was trying to film it, mm. and how the hell would I film that? Yeah. True. Oh yeah. Because you got the camera flipped yeah. the other way. Yeah. And then there was also. I just didn't want to like draw attention to things and stuff i just wanted you know what i mean it's weird i wanted to be for us but i also filmed it Mm -hmm. it's a weird thing Mm. but i don't know i mean family gets to see yeah i was filming it for family and friends Mm. that's what the purpose was yeah yeah. um i wasn't filming it to like oh look at me on the internet blah 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 like (laughs) we never even named that thing like we got engaged it was never titled like that or anything like that yeah and and another reason that i ask is because you basically told me that we were never gonna get married so this is Granted, it's not shocking to me because I figured out the ring situation. It's pretty fucking shocking considering conversations we had before this trip. Mm. Still kind of shocking. Maybe we're not married. Jesse signed the paperwork. I'm not sure if we are married. <laughs> I promised I wasn't your cousin <laughs> to someone. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we mm. still don't know if that's true. It's probably, yeah. I mean, yeah. You never know. Could be cousins. All right, so... Okay, so that cuts, and we didn't talk about anything else that happened that night. We walked around the city until really late, Mm -hmm. calling people and just telling them that we got engaged. Mm -hmm. Like, we called our parents and stuff. And we kept going, congratulations Congratulations. to each other. Like George's mom from Seinfeld. Congratulations. Um... Yeah, and I remember we we called, and I don't remember what order people got called in, but your parents' reaction when they were, like, so hyped, and my mom's reaction was so subdued. (laughs) It It was offensively subdued. I remembered being like, wow, so I guess I'll talk to you later. I called and gave you... She probably like, wasn't bad super. Weather report or she probably something. wasn't super stoked you were marrying me. No, I, this, well, that this, was this, obvious this, from this her did attitude. Not thrill her. Yeah, uh, I told my my class that uh, everyone was very surprised. Like my mom was really surprised and whatnot. So, and I guess I used surprised, but what I should have been trying to say was. <laughs> Slightly disappointed. <laughs> My parents seemed all right. Yeah, yeah. But they were happy because you were marrying me, and they were like, wow, he leveled up. <laughs> He's doing better than we thought. <laughs> yeah, your parents referred to us as kiddos uh, in a message recently, and I was like, oh, I'm one of the kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to find the MRT, which is like the subway system here in Singapore. And so we found the MRT symbol. And then we found the zebra, and then the unicorn, (laughs) the nubbins, but we cannot find ZMRT. (laughs) Interesting part of this um, trip. Look at my hair looks sharp Mm -hmm. there. We don't really know. We're in Singapore. We don't really know where we're gonna go next. Well, as of 20 minutes ago, we didn't know where we're gonna go next. So we come into a borders, and I mean it's. Oh yeah, I remember sitting on this floor. And I'm talking about we didn't know what country we were gonna be in next. Mm. That's what I'm like referring to. Exactly, a border is like you know what you have in the states, like identically. And um, we just go to the Lonely Planet. Thanks, Barb. And we just grabbed uh, an Indonesia book because it's nearby country. 
and looked through it for a few minutes and said, all right, well, screw it, we're going to Indonesia. And if anybody's wondering, that's how that decision is made. We just kind of looked at it, looked like there were a couple of cool things to see. It's really cheap, apparently, and um, we're off. So we just decided that we've got a couple of days, thinking of, a couple of days of things left here in Singapore. And um, it's the first right now, and we'll leave on the fourth. And um, that's how that decision is made. So there you go, there's some insight. That's wild that that's how we did this trip. Yeah. The whole trip. It was like a year and a half. And I don't remember. I, re- I definitely feel like there were jitters of like, oh, I don't know what that place is. But I never felt right now, like in my life situation, I feel a little bit like scared. I feel like I should have been way more scared then than I am right now. I wonder, uh, yeah, maybe we're underconfident about things now and we were overconfident then, or maybe that's the right level of confidence to have. Trying to get some uh, back then. But we didn't like Google it or anything. Like we went in, we flipped through a book and went, okay, we'll go to this country. Mm. Like we'll go to this country in like three days. Mm. (laughs) And we didn't plan anything. We didn't book anything in advance. So none of that happened. We got, and then we'd go to the country and find a place to stay that night. (laughs) <laughs> it's just how, it's just how we rolled. We flew into places and we would, we'd get to airports and we'd have to ask people like, how do we get to the city? Like, what? Like, you, you didn't, we didn't have any idea. Mm. Yeah, it was nuts. It seems crazy to me now, but I'm, it was so fun. And it's, I've talked about this before and how much I was happy that we traveled pre-smartphone internet. Mm. I love that because now you couldn't, you couldn't even do this now. Like, um, it, 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 you, 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 people... You couldn't walk up to people and ask them questions now because they'd be like, why don't you just use your phone? Like the whole world has changed. You mm-hmm. couldn't just walk into a hotel and like be like, hey, do you have a room tonight? Because like you have to book it in advance or whatever. Like there's all these just little things that work like that. You can't just like flag down a cab. You got to use an Uber. Like everything well, is different now. Like you and can it's not, still go and do those things, but it's you different. wouldn't because it's easier to just sit there and flip through a phone and look at five yeah. hotels and compare them at your then fingertips walk around and then walk it. around but the five hotels but I'm and happy have that shitty we did, conversations. I'm happy we did it that way mm. because there's something really... Uh, you, this was adventure in that. Even if it's annoying sometimes, it's just more adventure in walking around trying to find places like that and stuff. I'm just, I'm just very happy that we got to do it that way and now we get to do it the way that works with a phone. Mm. Like we, we've had the opportunity. If you went and did this now, you'd be like, okay, I'm just relying on the phone the whole time. And you're, you, you would never have had that adventure. Mm. And I think about like how people did it. Like we, we still use the internet a bit then. But people at one point went and did this stuff when there was no internet. Mm-hmm. Like there, there didn't exist. There's, there's people that wrote the books. Yeah. Like <laughs> in the 70s or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like totally word of mouth and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. Orchard Road in Singapore. It's like all of Singapore is mall on mall on mall on mall, but this is like the center of mall on mall on mall on mall. So, I mean, look at this building. It's just rather striking. It's a mall. Oh, that looks terrible. That's a mall. It's slightly interesting. That's a mall. Building. That's my fiance. Oh, yeah, we were saying the word fiance a lot. My fiance. My fiance. <laughs> <laughs> and um, underneath all of these malls are malls <laughs> that then connect to other malls. <laughs> so Singapore is actually a city on top of a city of malls. So if you want to go to the mall, <laughs> you need to come to Singapore. Every other city in the world can take a cue from Singapore's transportation system. We're on the metro right now, and it tells you where you're at, where you're going, blinking lights, the lady comes on and talks, you can understand her. It's um, quite something, and this train is very, very long. All of them are long. They're very fast. Very the, tra- fast. the transportation system can get you anywhere, and it not only works for the MRT, which it's like no seats, yeah. type system, but you can also use this card. You buy it and just fill it up with however much you want. Look at this guy. Swipe it over this like sensor when you walk in, and. It works what? It works on the buses too, so you can get on a bus and just swipe it, and then when you get off, swipe it, and it knows how far you went and deducts it from whatever you know amount that you had on your card. 
and so I mean, it basically means you can get anywhere in the entire country with this little card. And that's pretty dang awesome. Awesome. It's, I mean, even looking at it, I mean, their, their system is dramatically smaller in scope than like Tokyo or whatever, but the ease of use, I still remember it being like way, way easier. The maps make sense. Like Tokyo's a disaster sometimes in that sense. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it was, it was good. And I think they built that metro system out quite a bit more. There's a lot more lines now. Hmm. Like it's more extensive. But oh, this looks like a food court. Uh, I don't know. There's some fish Look in the at background. The tables to the left. Says food court. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you court. can't see the left. I can't see the fish? your mouth. I like right here. straight on. Get okay. <laughs> We're in a mall in um, Singapore, and this is the third time I will have the same meal. Um, they've got a big food stall thing, thing underneath the mall. And um, the food stalls in Singapore are actually amazing. It's not like a food stall, it's more like a food court, like in a mall. I mean, it's really clean and stuff compared to everything else in Southeast Asia. It's actually clean by American standards. But um, regardless, I'm having this I am Hagan. It's grilled chicken stuff, and it is phenomenal. <laughs> it's got you written all over it. see her grilling it there, and she puts it in this black sauce. And then this is egg and a salad and uh, some rice and they put some spices on it and it's all amazing. So I'm stoked. Katie's getting some naan. Is it egg? Maybe that, one, maybe that was egg. No, it's tofu. The thing I just showed, was it egg? Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about the laksa. Mm. I didn't see it. This is um, apparently Indonesian food, which we're going to go to Indonesia soon, so maybe we'll uh, have a little experience with it. Boy, am I going to be disappointed by that. <laughs> Like, so I'm like excited about Indonesian food. Remember, finished. Mm, Not finished. that the food was bad. It was just always out of order or out of uh, out of stock or whatever. Oh, here we go. This, this is my food. <laughs> <laughs> a big plate of bread. And what is this? It's naan. They call it bread. What the hell's wrong with me? This is a curry. This is a. Was that your potato stuff, or that was like a bean That was mix. the bean, the, the salsa bean. Yeah, it tastes like salsa, it's good. And this is a curry and cucumber, right? Cucumber mint curry. Cucumber thing. mint curry, yeah. All right, in addition to all the uh, the, the little salad. And wow. Curry and amazing barbecue chicken. <laughs> what is in wow? Looks good. Yeah. They came with the dish. They also give you a That looks like an egg. Yeah. And then I went over to a drink stand and got an almond iced tea. Oh. It's partially cold and so it's partially good. warm and it's got um, condensed milk in it and almond flavoring and tea and it's unbelievably good. Yeah, those things, dude. And how's your white stuff? I got a Pepsi. <laughs> in the white stuff. You got a Pepsi. Is that the last Pepsi you think you ever got? It no, seems I don't weird. Think so. I so. probably had one in America. That's a bummer. Everything else is good though. Yeah, yeah the food down here is pretty incredible. Kind of a theme. If you go to Singapore, go into the bald basements and they have these food courts and it's really cheap and just like, it's good. It's really good food. That's one of the best things about Singapore. Mm. When I think about Singapore, I think about the food. Mm. Well, I'm getting engaged, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dessert. <laughs> it is ice. And coconut, like sauce and cherry, really. And that's about it. Katie's <laughs> Katie's afraid of it. Let's watch her eat some. No. Why do you not want to eat that? It doesn't look good at all. It even looks good. Now, I'm like looking at it. Like, yeah, that looks like, good. This is stupid. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It looks like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's in a bad mood today. That'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> you want to have another bite? That's a solid shit face right there. Out of 10, how many stars? Two. We're in the airport in Singapore. <laughs> I'm trying to ride that thing. <laughs> wow. To make it a lot like a mall. But they've also put a bouncy castle in. Man, you gotta wait in line. What the fuck? 
There's a, <laughs> you can also rent segways. <laughs> we have found the world's fastest escalator. <laughs> also, the grand distance it climbs. <laughs> we think it might get faster when we stand on it, but we're not sure. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's sped up. Now we're moving. more malls um actually these are similar malls to what i had videoed yeah why did we go to the airport and not leave were we were this there maybe buying a plane ticket yeah i think possibly no internet you gotta go to the airport the most useless escalator yeah but i mean you gotta think about people with mobility issues like it's not useless if people have trouble walking up a couple of stairs yesterday i'm not sure if the old video will make the cut or this one will make the cut or whatever we'll see but um they both made it see all that screen moves and this is like the mrt entrance and there's a mall and there's a big thing and a mall behind it and these fountains are pretty interesting they're just on the steps <laughs> and that looks like this gonna like ruin someone's pants <laughs> and then there is katie and this is orchard road or orchard way or orchard boulevard or something and lots of lights and I'm not sure if this is Christmas. A lot of it looks like Christmas festivities, so maybe it doesn't always look this cool. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I, I don't. This reindeer is making me horny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today, at the same food stall or food court that we've been at the last couple of days. Why would we ever leave? Why did we? Why don't we live in Singapore? Boring. And walk from our place. Hold on, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm thinking. I keep telling you, I want to go back there. Yeah, yeah. I've um, got a chicken hot plate, and this literally is chicken and onions and a little salad thing and a uh, fried egg. On it's on this plate, and it's like all the juices are like jumping off of it all over you when you carry it. It's mm -hmm. the plate's very. It's literally a hot plate. It's very, very, very hot and um, just some steamed rice and a little thing of soup. And what did you have? I've got laksa, which we had at the zoo, and um, I just got shrimp and egg and deliciousness, and they let me pick which... Um, I still don't know, it's tofu. Which noodles I wanted, so I got my favorite noodles. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and today's dessert is peaches. <laughs> Chipped ice. So this doesn't What's my good. reaction to this shit? <laughs> She's got awful taste. I okay. You. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I hate kakigori. I think kakigori is a waste of taste buds. Like, it's just boring. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, no, it's not. And that's what you're eating here. I've hated it since it's Singapore. It's and stuff, man. I want to get a kakigori. We, we used to have a penguin that made kakigori. True. Oh. What's this bear up to? I don't know. I think he's I... a police bear. I think I remember he made something to do with the yeah. cops. I don't know if he's like, he's, he seems soft, <laughs> kind of rigid at the same time. <laughs> yeah. On the MRT, there's always these announcements that are like, if you see any suspicious item, contact the authorities. And there's also this poster here with this bear. And it says, uh, <laughs> so we're on our, uh, we're keeping our eyes open for suspicious teddy bears. teddy bears. So we're on Sentosa, which is like... So this was when this area first opened. It hadn't been fully developed now. I think it's like a full-blown like resort amusement area park. and amusement park and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was just like something there had a few things that had opened at this point. This little island south of Singapore, which is part of Singapore. I mean, it's connected by a monorail. It's not like a long way away. But it's like you're building... Bubble gum. <laughs> this Disneyland style yeah. thing. And it's kind of bizarre because Singapore is Disneyland in itself. Like it really feels Disneylandish. And um, yeah, that's true. I think I, I think I agree with that. Still, my memory of it, anyways. How it just everything is just so the way it is in Disneyland. It's like everything you see has been designed mm -hmm. just so. It's like the whole place feels you like can't that. Strange. See the uh, the strings. Mm -hmm. Super super Disneyland. 
it's hard to explain. Anyways, um, we're gonna take this luge ride. And you have to take this ski lift. And then you get in this luge thing and then you come down the hill. And we got rave reviews from the people that we asked if it was lame or not. They were like, oh, it's amazing, we went three times, so. We'll see. I like a ride. And now we're up on the uh, ski lift right. thing. It's kind of a cool view. Mm. This is off the coast of Sentosa, which is pretty cool looking, all the ships. Singapore is a shipping town, and I think that's kind of evident here. <laughs> like, all these are like shipping barges and whatnot. If you've ever wondered what an American restaurant looks like. We didn't show ourselves going down on the hill like on the it. luge things. It doesn't look like a good situation. We didn't, we didn't show the luge thing at all. I think we could, we either couldn't take our camera or something like I that. Remember. I do remember I getting we off. It. I don't know. Anyway. I, I want to know how I felt. I thought it was kind of fun. That's my, my memory of it is, yeah, it was all right. I don't remember at all. Mm -hmm. I remember wearing a helmet. Yeah, I think we have pictures of that. Outside of the States, this is pretty much it. Here's Barack Obama. <laughs> and uh, it's got obnoxious rock music playing and comic books on the walls and of white people <laughs> here's a menu for you pig organ soup pig stomach soup Meatball soup, uh-huh, meatball, that's up. Uh, get me on a strong <laughs> stomach day and I'm trying to have that kidney. Kidney soup. <laughs> and then over here, you get the, the uh, different stuff and you get the frog porridge. Is that in an airport in Singapore. And this is a post office, this little car. And we're mailing some postcards. And um, there's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the automated walkway here is called the Travelator. The Travelator. <laughs> I tell that to everyone like it's a technical term. Whenever I get on one with someone, I'm like, you ever been on a Travelator before? <laughs> <laughs> and you know that everybody has been at this point, but nobody has a name for it or... Mm. You better not have a name for it because it's a travel later. Uh, streamers have streamed themselves going down the loose, so probably not because it wasn't possible. Yeah, I don't remember. Maybe we just didn't. Sometimes we just didn't film shit. Like, it just was like, whatever. I don't know. At the beginning of the terminal, you go through it right at your gate at your airplane, so it's really, really fast and there's no long lines or anything. And um, that's an improvement. I have no idea if Chip watches these videos or not. <laughs> Bottles. These are for him. So the history to that is that I used to eat, like when I was a teenager, I would get like a bag, like a bag of like two pounds of those things and eat them until I got sick. <laughs> and it pissed your brother off all the time. <laughs> the Why the fuck these would you do that? <laughs> you do this sick and complaining. Like, idiot. Best ribs in America. In Singapore. Moving walkways. <laughs> I guess oh, the clip so cut. Yeah, I probably. It's just ribs and we out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at some. Uh, let's look at some photos. Where are the photos? Where are the photos? This is a wonderful question. They're not here. Hmm. Can you, you had a big list of stuff. I know. Mm -hmm. I think I might have. Uh, I might have made a mistake here. We may not have any photos. Let me get some photos together really quick. It only takes a second. Uh, so what's going to happen is Katie's going to entertain everybody. Wow, I've entertained so well. We already <laughs> received 100 bits. Thanks, Silver Surfer. Wow, I'm doing a great job, and you don't even have any photos. <laughs> I thought I exported them already. Oh, man, how long are we going to be here? I, I probably... came for, like, instant entertainment, as did everyone in the chat, Eric I Klein. I, I probably deleted the... Oh, you know what? I think I still have them all flagged. I can just... Woo! I do not have them. Oh, yep. Woohoo. Mm, you know how to elephant hair be? Okay. Give me just a second. Ooh, that might be that's a early reenactment shot. I love that picture. Okay. I'll stop looking at the pictures. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm wondering if I might be sick. COVID. 
Like, I, I feel something in the way my voice sounds. It sounds kind of strange. Dang, son. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I don't even know whose birthday it is. <laughs> no, it's like, I think that's an emoji that it turns into that for some reason. Wow. Oh, uh, thank you Ooh, for the subscription. subscription. You get a squeaky chicken. Mm. Yeah, we got bits. And, wow. All right, just a second. I all and right, a fat is, cat showed up. Who's that cat? How does one get the bar to come back on? There we go. I hide it. Ooh, Barb's got a nice cock. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who has the uh, their setting set to show them all the emojis or to show the times four times six. I want to know what the ratio is of that. Oh, it's just our our app does that, and everybody else doesn't have that. They don't have that option. Not if they're using Twitch. Wow. That, my app does that, so it doesn't show like nine hundred because it makes it more wow. readable. So Twitch doesn't allow you to do that. I see. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder where these I've export. I exported them somewhere. Mm. Anyway, that's a that's some shit that is uh, just gonna stick around until wipe and reload. Yeah, it's gonna get some. <laughs> there's just some random folder like inside of some other like folder inside of a folder, and it's mm-hmm. just full of pictures. Okay, we are good. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Ding ding! Don't need, oh, this, we anymore. Don't need this anymore. When is the banana emoji used? All the time, Barb. <laughs> um, and death? I click another button, then they get to see what we're looking at. This shit says death. Hmm. Notice pending. Yeah, so this is a, um, no. when you go into Singapore, they make you, the, the, when they stamp your visa or whatever, they give you this thing that's like, if death you bring in traffic. death for drug trafficking under Singaporean law. So it's just like a, like, yeah. That, they, they've executed people recently for it. Really? Yeah, for drug trafficking. Like, you bring, like, cocaine or something into Singapore, they will kill you. What? Yeah. <laughs> Did you not know? You, you, you had, I mean, you had, we had to have talked about yeah. it then. Same thing with Indonesia, I think. I think there's some crazy stuff going on there, too. Drug... What, what did you just Google? Malaysian executed in April of this year. Yep. Like it's a serious, serious business, man. Singapore. I mean, you don't want to fuck around with it in Japan either, but they're not going to kill you over it. Wow. Yeah, really, really harsh anti-drug laws. Oh, this is just Katie being happy. And be happy. It's a pretty good picture. Hmm. That's a pretty sweet mask. It is. It's a really sweet mask. Do you think you kept it? Uh, I probably had it for a time. I don't think I still have it. Your but eyelashes are like coming out of the mask. Yeah. This was the background of my Nintendo DS for a while. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, the American boy who got caned for chewing like he like I think he didn't chew bubble gum. I think he like stuck it to something, he vandalized something or something, and they caned him to death. No. Like, this is a couple of webs. It was like a big news story in the 80s or something. Were there pictures? Of, of what? Him getting caned? Of, of the bubblegum caning incident? Bubblegum Singapore caning. You. I just didn't put in Singapore. That's not important. You got canned pictures of bubblegum. I didn't know you could get that. Whatever happened to the boy who caned in Singapore? But it's against the law to import and sell bubble gum. Yeah, because they don't want it to get stuck on things. What? Yeah. Singapore, dude. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. No. Wow. No. Just gonna... Katie just fell into Oh, is this f- the dude? I don't, I don't know, man. He was like a teenager when it happened, I thought. Nah, it's a different situation. Anyways. Ah. Um, 
there's this there's the polar bear on the equator god Singapore look at that ain't fucking around it's, yeah i know look at this look at the look polar bear <laughs> oppression or it's really like strict rules yeah or harsh penalties how's the banana drawer doing i keep opening the banana drawer and going oh, i'm not supposed to be in here <laughs> you're not a banana this is a good this is a good reenactment yeah it's a strong reenactment i don't know which one's which mm, a couple no of Ruth's, couple of katie's who knows what we got yeah. <laughs> I'm just a cousin of the Rue, as the tapir is a cousin of all of those other things that it wasn't really a cousin of. Are you lucky you don't have a dick on your face? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll stick in the non-dick face category. This is... I was a very happy person right there. Mm. Look at the, um, see in the back, the sign says giant panda. Can you read the, mm. you, you should know the rest of those kanjis now. Yeah, but. Kumaneko. Yeah. Mm. The, in Chinese, the, a panda bear Kumaneko. is a bear cat. Oh. Bear cat. Pinkies up, bitches. Yeah, you kind of do. I'm doing it. I'm doing it good. Yeah, so you can see my hair. I look like a schlub. Ah, ah. Like, this is before I got it cut, before I proposed to you. I love this picture. Dickinson Hill. <laughs> Yamaro. Um, Yamaro. Nama Yamaro. Nama Yamaro. <laughs> uh, I don't know that one. Uh, and the first one is probably not in, in Japanese. Um, it's a big dick. Mm. It's a gamble we lost. We could probably Google it and find out what those things cost mm, it's now. It's going to be, but that would just be now monies. Mm -hmm. I don't care about now monies. <laughs> I want to know about then monies. Oh, this is in the, um, Oof. in the cold thing that they had, the, the little ski slope thing. Mm. I was biting my nails heavily during this time. Mm. Wow. Two thousand ten. Yeah, this was after we uh, watched. The, oh no, or was it before? I don't remember if we did this before or after we got engaged. I don't know. I'm, blah 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 is trying to pull something. That one says moot on it, which is bizarre because that's I the fortune guy. Meat. No moot. Look at it. But it could also say meat. Pump up the volume. We're here on January 3rd, 09. Oh, so that would have been a year before we put this there. Mm. Interesting. And this is where I, I now have a haircut. Uh-huh. Somebody's got plans. Yeah. Plotting on you. This is probably going on to the... You did this back in the day. Whenever, whenever you had to get up. Yeah, if uh, somebody was making me take a taken, picture because I didn't want to take a picture, I just took a, a picture, picture of them. them. <laughs> I have a... You started on a cruise or something. That what is this on. for? Going probably going on the um, Ferris wheel thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody's got a plan. Yeah, I'm plotting on you, plotting on you, ass eyes. Mm. Ass eyes? Wow. <laughs> it's for major I have pain. Never been called that. <laughs> it's for major pain. Like you plotting on me, ass eyes. You remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what you know what needs to happen we need to just watch that movie on repeat for like three weeks so we and just really like have good good vocabulary imbibe the culture yeah all right ass eyes <laughs> butt nugget i was thinking about messaging someone earlier today and be like okay butt nugget <laughs> but i told myself that i shouldn't do that we're being dumb be like annoying. Look at, look at these stupid lovebirds. Idiots. Mm. Ugh. 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 <laughs> that is not the manual no motor Ferris wheel. That's a pretty cool picture though with the moon. Mm, I think I took that. Yeah. The colors and everything. The red on one side and the blue on another and stuff. Looks good. This is before we were engaged. And I can tell you right now, 
I'm thinking what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I know what's coming. Oh, do you, did you yeah. know it was going to happen at midnight? Mm-hmm. You did? Yeah. Dang it. Stupid surprise didn't work out. Mm. I only get to do that once. I'm, it's still shocking that you asked me to marry you. Flat out. For, for more than just... You know I'm crazy, right? Oh, yeah. You're nuts. <laughs> and when you signed this deal, <laughs> uh, were you ready for this? Do you, do you feel like having signed on to that, there were things that you just, you totally didn't expect that might have been deal breakers? Wow, don't know if the, any of this is going to go on, but are there deal breakers that happened after the deal was made? Nah, we were having fun. We're still married. Yeah, but maybe that's because you feel real committed and there's something that's like, mm. nah, that's So how, I was trying to squeeze that out of you. No. Yeah. Let me tell everybody how much I don't like you. <laughs> I'm just curious if you if you were really ready. Look at you, so innocent, not knowing. Oh, I knew the, I, I knew all I was the madness. Into. I knew. Was I, I weighing I things at this time? Was I telling oh, no, you no, like, no, oh, no. I have to have a rigid. I do wonder what kind of, how far you how far down the rabbit hole of insanity you're going to drift. I don't even think de- I knew how to use spreadsheets then. <laughs> Um, this picture is, we showed it in the video, but you can, you you actually, those are tears on your shirt. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Katie asking if I have Eric buyer's remorse. Buyer's remorse. <laughs> oh, do you have buyer's remorse? Did the, no, not at all. Did the Ferris wheel in Singapore, did it fail? Did they, did they take it down? It was pretty cool. It seemed expensive, but. And there it is. Peaches. And you wear it on the opposite hand now because it doesn't mm. fit on the left it's hand. It's too big for my actual... Fuck. Hold on. Never mind. Wow. Yeah. I, I, it, would, it would fall off. You'd have to get it resized. If you got wet at all. Yeah, whatever. We didn't film this at all, but we walked around like this Chinatown-y looking area. Is that Chinatown-y? That sounded racist. Um, this area that has a Chinese, heavy Chinese influence. And this was on the first. I don't remember what we did other than that. Like, I don't remember it at all. We didn't even show where we stayed here. We stayed at some sort of hostel, but I think we had our own room. No, I'm getting it mixed up with uh, Malaysia. Yeah, I don't don't quite remember. It wasn't bad. I just remember it not being great. It was like the cheapest place you could stay in Singapore at the time. So, I mean, Mm. it was whatever it was. I remember being dramatically more expensive than other places that we had been traveling. I remember spending maybe like $30 a night there or something instead of like 10 So uh, I was just looking at a picture of a temple that someone sent me. And I see the, f- the fronts of temples like this. They always look like dragon the mouths to me. Like that the dragon is just laying behind it. You can't see the body. You just see oh, their... Oh, I see. <sighs> mm. it, always, it looks like that. And some look much easier to see that this one's a little wide but mm. that's what i see when i look at these i just see like dragons i was thinking about all the shrines that they have in japan there must be like an industry of people who are like that build them and maintain them Shriners. like it's like the you know the, the the dude that's like the specialist for the like the the region's shrine stuffs or whatever mm. We went to the park. We went to some park. They have a nice park, and at nighttime you can go and you can walk around. Ah, uh, it's like and a botanical like, garden. Yeah, it was. But yeah, that's right. It was a, we didn't film it at all, but we were just like playing with some light thing that we had, and we were spinning it around, taking pictures of it. Oh, there's your hot plate. It's mm. a weird angle of a photo. It's a weird photo. Yeah. And that's outside of the Raffles Hotel. And again, this place. I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah, it's a little expensive. It's Take like, a picture on the outside and then, like, learn how to make your own Singapore sling and save a bunch of buckets of dollars and get drunker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're right. We have this is what we remember the luge with the helmet. And this, uh, yeah. All I remember is the helmet. <laughs> hmm. That's the last photo. I would go back to Singapore. I would, I would go back I would, yeah. I would like to go back to Singapore at some point. Um. So maybe we will... Uh, Speaking of which, we need to talk about... The winter trip. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. You sent me that stuff about Okinawa. Well, I think that sounds like maybe it could be fun. Hmm. 
So maybe we should do that. Yeah, it did look like pepper lunch, right? Mm. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's going to do us large for this episode of Us Watching Us. So next week, I think we're good for next week. I don't think there's anything we go to Indonesia. conflicting. And we will be going to explore Indonesia. Like Katie said. We're about to encounter. It's about to get more intense. A terrible terrible yeah i don't know if that'll happen in the, i don't know it I won't be the next one or i'm not sure i don't know how much we've because we went in jakarta and then after jakarta things went crazy mm. and i don't remember i don't know how long we might end up watching more than one episode next week maybe they're shorter i don't i don't i'm not sure mm. um but yeah thanks to everybody for hanging out and uh i'm gonna take off here and i think you're taking off yeah mm. yeah I got and stuff to do we will be back next week with another Us Watching Us. Same time, same place. And I'm also, I mean, I'll be streaming this weekend as well on Sunday for sure. Well, let me ask you this real quick. Okay. Um, in regards to times mm-hmm. for this, for Us Watching Us, we were not doing it as, we weren't able to do it earlier because I had a job. And you were just talking about daylight savings. I don't want to change the time. No? Okay. No. Everybody, everybody just, else, it's already programmed yeah. into people. I, I don't see any advantage to that. So, Give what the is, option and thought about it. Yeah. Um, if you didn't go to school, I might talk about moving it to mornings. So it would oh. be nighttime for America, mm. which would then screw everybody that's been watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we'll just keep it where it is. So yeah, same time, same place. We'll be back next week. And then we will be working through Indonesia. And do we still plan to film segments for all the Tokyo Awards? Uh, yeah, we should. We should We should pick that up again. It's been a while. <laughs> I like, I like that. Do you plan? We should. Yeah. We should. Um, there's, yes. a, there's a lot to do. Uh, I very much would love to do that. Yep. Um, but anyway... Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, we will catch you next time, either next week or uh, sometime before then. I will be streaming, hopefully out and about. I, I, do, I don't know if you'll be joining me this weekend. I don't know what you got going on. but I don't even know what I have going on. Mm-mm. You'll be proud of me. I've signed on to go play a game day at the Japanese school. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Okay, guys. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.